Hi. In many cases, you might want to add some numbers to your lists in uh, PDF Butter documents. So let's take a look on how we can do that with PDF Butter. I've prepared a document, and in this document, I have a couple of numbered lists. So there are a couple of ways to add your numbers here in this uh, document, and that's what I wanted to show. First of all, we have the numbered lists in uh, Microsoft Word. As you can see, this is just a normal numbered list uh, selected from the top here, from the numbering. And also, you can do that in a paragraph, and you can also do it in a table. Uh, as you will see, we will create a table row config type to replicate this table, and the numbered list will just follow along. So this is also a numbered list. I've set it to uh, uh, yeah, continue, not, not continue the numbering, but reset the numbering to one. So we have two separate numbered lists in this Word document. A second way to do it is actually to use uh, an, uh, a variable that PDF Butter introduces. So every record that you will uh, receive from Salesforce will get a number from a PDF Butler. So you can use actually a variable number that we introduce. And that's also what I'm gonna to going to show you here in this demo today. So let's get started. I will start from our opportunity products. So this is the list of opportunity products that we have. And I wanna see my numbering uh, one, two, three, four, five to six. Let me show you something on how you can order this. Uh, I can sort these products uh, via here. It doesn't make any sense to have one product at, at the bottom. So what I'm going to do here is actually first get all of my uh, motors, then get the installation costs, and then get my SLA on those motors. So this is the order that I want to see in, uh, in my Word document or my PDF document as well. Click the Save button. OK, this is now saved. This is what we want. This is not a demo on how to create data sources, nor on how to create the conflicts. So I've already set that up. And I'm just going to add my document here that I've just shown you from, uh, from this list. OK, I'm going to get the uh, full file location. OK, I have to add it here. OK, I'm going to give it a certain uh, a certain alternative name, not very important in this case, but still it's required. So it's the uh, it's the name. And now I'm going to start configuring. First, I'm going to configure that I want to repeat this paragraph eh, every time again and again for every uh, opportunity product that I have. So OK, we all know how to do create a paragraph, of course. So let's do that here. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to call it paragraph. Then I'm going to make it of type paragraph, of course. Uh, the data source will be our opportunity products. The merge field is the one that I've just uh, copied. And that's it. Nothing to do here. And then on this paragraph, I'm just going to add on a single. Uh, it will use the parent data source, the one we are uh, uh, looping through. And as a field, it's going to be the product name. OK, so this is that. Let me already save it to see if there are no issues. OK, I'm also going to generate the document already just to see if everything uh, checks out fine. OK, document is already generated. That went fast. And as you can see, one to six via the word numbered list. That went fast, that went quick, that was looking good. So next up, we're going to repeat our row. Add a config type. It's the row, so I'm going to make it of type table row. The data source is our opportunity products, of course. The merge field is the one I've just copied. OK, this is done. Now, under this row, I'm just going to add some singles just to fill in all of the information. It's the product name, the merge field to take. OK, then I'm going to also fill in the quantity. The, yes, the parent data source, the quantity. I want to have some custom formatting because I do not want to see any decimals. So I'm going to take this one. And uh, OK, the merge field there. Cool. And the last one, the sales price. OK, the total price. It knows it's a currency, so let it uh, format it as a currency. All done. Save this. 
cool. Let's regenerate. So see how quick that goes. And now, as you can see, two numbered lists, numbering from one to six, and with the numbered lists in, um, in, in Microsoft Word. Okay, as you can see, the column of quantity is a little bit wide, so you can make that a little bit, uh, change that a little bit and say, okay, the quantity we want maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, that's how easy it can be done in Microsoft Word, of course. Second up is uh, our record number. So PDF Butter for every uh, record that it gets from Salesforce, it will assign a record number. It will start counting for you actually. So let's see how that can work. I'm going to take this merge field and I'm going to create a new paragraph config type. Add a config type. Just paragraph. It's the type paragraph, of course, the data source opportunity products, the merge field we have just seen. Okay, now let's go to this one and let's add the uh, product name. That's the stuff we already did before, so that's nothing new. Now, uh, there is one other uh, merge field and this is the number. So let's see if I add my number here. Uh, I can use a parent data source and I have a row number variable as I explained in the beginning and this row number variable now actually is just counting the rows. Okay, I'm going to add my merge field, save the server, let's take a look, let's regenerate the document. That's how quick it goes. This is real time, people. This is not uh, me uh, cutting out pieces in the uh, in the item or in the uh, in the video. Okay, yes, you can see perfect one to six, uh, just as before. We can now play around a little bit with the uh, spacing and everything. As you can see, there is uh, spacing in between all of the uh, um, the different paragraphs. Uh, you can just say okay. I do not want this spacing, so how can you remove that? Very simple. You just say that uh, the spacing before is zero. And now you would have no spacing, so let me upload a new document in a second. Just gonna put an extra enter here. Okay, same thing for the uh, row number. I already know that I have to make this a little bit wider. So um, let's do the same for this row. So what I'm gonna do is uh, make a new table row for this one, uh, for this uh, row in, the, in our table and make sure that it's repeated and we have our row number here as well, just as before. Okay, I uh, think everybody already gets what we are trying to do here. So this is more of the same as before, row number, data source opportunity products, merge fields. Okay, we have our row and now I'm going to add all of my merge fields. I'm going to start with the normal ones and then I'm going to take the uh, the row number variable data source product name okay the quantity okay parent data source the quantity custom formatting yes I want this one okay like this and I want to have the sales price of course not let's not forget about that one Okay, the uh, total price, currency formatting, and that's done. So now we're gonna get this number filled in, and this is just as easy as before. So I'm just gonna add a new config type for under this row, add my uh, merge fields here. Uh, so I'm gonna take the add number variable, so it knows that it's a numbered list. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the number. In the meantime, I also did some formatting in the document, remember? So what I'm gonna do is just make sure my document is saved. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna re-upload it here. Uh, numbering, this is the one. Save the server. Okay, that's done. So one final test and let's see what it gives. Okay, click the button document is already there and as you can see the spacing is gone that's good the widening is uh, is happened and the numbering is there so we have one to six one to six uh, auto numbering from word one to six the numbering from pdf butter one to six 
So everything is there. My document can now be completed with all of the information on my products, all of the information on my customer. And yeah, that's actually it. Thanks for watching.